The only thing similar to that, I've never seen any rugby game play, played in snow. I've seen a rugby game played in real thick fog, like I just saw there. And like, you literally can't see the ball, you pass it. <laughs> you can't see five metres in front of you, so I don't know how you meant to play. He really handed it to him 30 to 3. You know, lo and behold, one of our fans decided he wanted to get in on the, on the beating that we were laying down on the, on the Leos that day. This guy was charging you with his head down. Look at this! Oh, 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 As a player, you don't know what's going on. And you have to protect yourself. Oh, okay, with three boots to the head! Four boots! It was a WWF, WWE type of game. You're crazy enough to run a football field, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, man! Oh, he did not expect that. Oh, what an idiot! What an absolute fucking. I would be too, that's ridiculous! That coach should have absolutely. Robert Baker has thrashed his player for doing that. I don't know what's going on with Robert Baker, but he was in a tussle in the Argo Hubble, was pulled and just took a shot at Noel Prefontaine. Oh, look, did you see that? He hit him so fast, so hard. Baker gave Prefontaine a shot to the mouth, and he bang, a heartbeat like that. Unbelievable! Oh, indeed it is. Welcome back to the Sports Center. Conor McGregor for left. moments in those plays didn't even make the cut. Now, for my money, play number two was the wankiest because, again, it involved the fan. The wankiest. He actually tripped the player in the Grey Cup game. He's lucky he didn't get pummeled. Let's keep this countdown rolling. Number three. The annual classic becomes a shrouded spectacle in the yellow and black of Hamilton and the gold of Look at the helmets on them. My dad used to tell me about that all the time, the legendary fog ball. Football fans have never been in a fog like this before. The field resembles the Twilight Zone. You're the class for me. Oh, let's crack up. I'll show you. I will show you the exact game I was talking about, the exact rugby game. Because that's what I like to do. I like to include rugby in this. Crusaders vs. Hurricanes 2006 Fog Final. Look at this. Let's listen to some commentary, just a little bit. Look at that! <laughs> oh, some of these names would be legendary. Back in 2006. Absolutely legendary. I was 16 or 15, probably. What are they going to say? Umanga, Nonu, Lomi Fatatau, Asia Toyaba, Pity Weepu, David Holwell, absolute legend, yeah, man. TJ, hi, mate. Yeah, hello. Just checking, mate. Yeah, gotcha, Hitch. Can you hear me, TJ? Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Crusaders are my home team. Fuck, man. Looking at these names uh, brings okay, back so okay, many memories. Okay, mate. Oh, gotcha. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. <laughs> this might be a dual effort, this. Yeah, okay. It's no very, very hard to see. I mean, I'm, I'm calling this pretty much off the monitor, mate. Okay. Entirely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, off the monitor, mate. Yeah. Because they're up in the commentary box. They're literally up here watching this. They can't see anything. <laughs> Uh, talk about the players. Fucking, talk, we're talking about the talking about the players. Have a spare of thought for the uh, the commentators. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Robbie. Oh, this song, the Crusaders, Crusaders opening song. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Watch the kickoff. Here we go. Sorry, I am going down a bit of a rabbit hole. Difficult condition. <laughs> Jonathan Kaplan of South Africa, the referee tonight, and we'll do our best to bring you the coverage. And I think you can see the problems that everybody is going to have here at Jade Stadium. Jade Stadium in Christchurch. 
Jade Stadium. Formerly Lancaster Park. I guess it's all right. Jonathan Kaplan probably can barely see the Crusaders to ask them if they're ready. Who's going to catch it? And he blows the whistle and uh, the final is underway. The kickoff goes the other way and it's taken down by the Crusaders. Oh, that's good, mate. That's, that's, that's hilarious. But let's, let's continue. Sorry, guys. I think this is worse. <laughs> It's ridiculous to, to think when you watch the film of that, you watch the video of it, that they actually tried to play football. You could throw short passes, passes out in the flat, whether you're an offense, defense, you could still spot it. But if you threw a long pass or punts that got up into the air a bit, then you could lose the ball. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, they actually stopped it. Unbelievable. through the playoffs and then that much of the great club to have to go in unstruck, untape, take a shower, go home, have a little sleep, get up the next day, retape, go right back out and try to finish that last seven, eight minutes or whatever it was. Big hit. close enough to the action to be able to do that, eh? <laughs> no matter how. There are scattered booze from the crowd of roughly 28,000 here at Varsity Stadium, probably from Western supporters. He apologized for tripping me, but he also said that probably uh, no one would remember who, who you are later on without this incident. Fortunately for me, it did not decide who won the Grey Cup. If it did, I'd still be in the jailhouse. Now, 50 years later, it's funny. Oh, it's funny, all right? Count. We've counted down nine of the game's most incredible moments, but one still stands alone. This should be good. We reveal the craziest moment in CFL history next. Next. Um, craziest CFL moments. The 1950 finalists. Mud Bowl. Got, got, got the Fog Bowl, you got the Mud Bowl. Snow Bowl. That game did not resemble the game of football. Did you guess it? And 
he just brought down for a loss as he turned around. Boy, looks like few, looks like pigs rolling around in mud. Suddenly transformed into something else, more of a survival game, and you have to develop new strategies and new and and, and, and different uh, different techniques, literally different. Quarterback sneak, and I know he's over for a touchdown. Quarterback It just separates our football from the United States football. That something in our history would be that unique on that type of surface. Okay, on we go now to the craziest moment of all time, although it does rather depend on your perspective. I was in California. Craziest moment of all time. It was driven by Ryder fans. McMahon Stadium, a sea of green. The Alouettes, the prohibitive favorites. It looked like the Riders had good. won when everything went crazy. It looked like they'd won when everything went crazy. Green Cup original matchup. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Montreal Alouettes. The biggest thing I, I just kept on thinking about is just give Damon a chance. Anthony Calvillo. to try to get someone off the field because of the noise. Okay, God, this is in your hand. Whatever happened, happened. And now, Duval gets a second chance. Second chance. To win the 97th breakup. Up, down, ball through, and the Montreal Alouettes have come all the way back. And they are the 2009 Great Cup champions. Heartbreak for Saskatchewan. I think the man upstairs that we got a second chance. First, it looked like the Rough Riders had won the Great Cup only to unbelievable... Far out. What a finish. Imagine that. Imagine watching that live. Uh, you think you've lost the game. So you think you've won That'd be the insane. Game. The kick is missed, and then there's the penalty. Look over at Saskatchewan. The sheer look at the pressure there, the, the heads hanging, everything else. The, at first, jubilation for the Riders, and then just complete depression. I don't think the Rough Riders lost. I think we won that game. And that game showed tremendous ability and teamwork. It showed ability to overcome adversity. A finish that will become part of the lore of this great game. The finish that will be talked about. He still had to hit the kick. The disappointment of this loss is going to last each one of us for as long as we're on this planet. One of the greatest great cups I've ever seen. I've ever been around. Don't want to be on the other end of, the, of that kind of thing. Eh? No, no. Moment. I, I still can't believe that happened. For the rest of our lives, and we're, we're trying to find out who do you blame for it? Who do you blame? Do you blame the special teams coach, Davis Reed? Do you blame uh, uh, the returner back there for not counting? Do you blame the guy who wasn't supposed to be on there? You know, you can blame a lot of people. It's one of those moments that you always can remember with a little bit of bitterness. That would be so gussing. best chance was the 13th man, as it turns out, the 13th man cost them a great cup title. I tell you, that really was a remarkable game, and what a finish. And that's going to do it for us. We hope you enjoyed the show. From all of us here, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this show. So from all of us here at Alice Springs, I want to say, have a great day. I want to say thanks for watching with me, guys. That was fun. That was really fun. But I'm actually going to change tack here. I've got, I've got a video that I really want to watch. It's a, it's a long one. It's an hour long. It's, it's got Brad Pitt narrating. I think it's, uh, it's called, the new, it's called uh, America's Game, but it's the one on the New Orleans Saints coming back from the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. And I can't wait to watch it. But I really enjoyed this one. So guys, if you want to support me, you want to support the channel, continue the growth, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, even better, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.